Good morning everyone and welcome to our morning inspiration Friday March 15 2024 I hope we are all in good spirit this morning and I hope we are doing well I pray that God will continue to be with you and your families and keep you our reading today comes to us from Psalm 124 reading verses 1 to 8 and it says if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the folders. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. It and last, our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Amen. We give God thanks this morning again for His Holy Word, a very powerful reading this morning and one that we should take as comfort to help us as we go day by day. The reading reminds us that the Lord is our refuge and our strength. In fact, it started out by saying, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side and who is on our side, where would we be today? What would happen to us? Surely none of us would be alive. Because when we think about all that we go through on a daily basis, the things and the dangers that we escape, sometimes even without knowing, God's protection is surely on our lives. When we go out in the morning, there is no guarantee that we're coming back home. When we go to our bed in the night, there is no guarantee that we will wake up. And so every breath we take, we must give God thanks and praise because we don't know the, what the next minute will bring. And so we must take refuge in His arms. We must have confidence in in his power and his ability to save us he said that he will snatch us like a bird from the fowler he will protect us when the waters rise up against us and we know water here can mean people according to scripture so when people rise up against us when people have set themselves in array against us especially for no cause or for no reason, then we must run to him who is able to protect us. And so let us trust in him. He is able to save us and to save our soul. Let us not be weary. Let us not fret ourselves. Let us not be disturbed by the things that happen around us because God is on our side. They that are with us are greater than they that are against us. So we have nothing to fear and nothing to worry about. Amen? In verse 5, it talk about the proud water that gone over our soul. And as I stated earlier, water here can also be represented as people. And so when the water rise, just like the Jordan River, with God there, with God there by our side, we can pass through safely amen our help is in the name of the lord the lord who made heaven and earth you see how he call all creation into existence do you see how he formed man and blue breath into man that is power and if he is able to do that what can he not do as it relates to our trouble surely he can take care of them and so let us have confidence in God's power we need to call on the name of Jesus we need to trust in him friends because what 
His power is available to us. We have nothing to worry about. And so when you go to work and your boss and your colleagues sometimes stress you out and they are on your case for no reason at all, call on the name of God. When your, your families and your friends sometimes they treat you bad, call on the name of Jesus. He can deliver you. In fact, he said that when mother and father forsake you, when your family members forsake you, behold the Lord will take you up and he will be your mother and your father, your sister and your brother. So in God you have everything. You are not in want. You are not in need. In fact, you are a royal blood because the Lord has adopted you into his family. And so what? You can claim this prestigious gift that he has given unto us. Don't hold on your head in the sun because when you hold on your head into the sun, you're only putting yourself in more danger. Look up because our redemption joy at night. Praise God. Let us give God all the glory that is due to his name, friends. Let us trust in him. Let us go and seek him because he's there waiting to deliver us, waiting to accept us, and he will come through for us. So may God continue to bless and keep you. May God make his face continue to shine upon you always, and may he give you peace. You're going to be all right. Don't worry about it. Trust him because he will deliver. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your day and may God continue to bless you. Amen.